G'day everyone, Luke from Homebrew HQ again, and today let's talk about the difference between dried malt, liquid malt, and malted grain. What do, we, what do they do? How do we use them? Let's have a look. Okay, so light dried malt, liquid malt, and malted grains. These are pretty much all the same ingredient, but in different forms. So, life starts here with malted grains. The sugars that are extracted from these grains are boiled down and, and reduced to create a liquid form, which is liquid malt. Or the drying process goes even further to make it a dried malt. Adding any of these ingredients to your home brewing will really lift the flavor, the mouthfeel, and the head retention, and potentially the aroma. So the goal is to try and get as much malt as possible into your recipe without overdoing it. Dried malt, you can use quantities up to about three or four kilos in extract brewing. You can make your entire base of your recipe with, with the dried malt. Same goes for liquid malt. You've got a few more options because it can come in general barley malt. You can also get rye malt. You can get light, medium, sort of amber, even darker malts. So you've got more options with this in different styles of liquid malt available to you should you choose different recipes. Adding liquid malt will add a depth of flavor to your beer. It'll really be noticeable. Using grains, the idea is if you can use 100% of malted grains, you're going a long way to producing fantastic homemade beer. With malted grains, you can steep just a couple of hundred grams to start with and you'll really notice an improvement in the flavor. It'll, it'll improve the aroma, it'll improve the flavor, and definitely the head, head retention and the mouth feel. Because this is the raw ingredient. The more of this you can get into your recipe, the better it's gonna taste. Interesting fun fact about these three ingredients is that dried malt is more efficient than liquid malt, and liquid malt is more efficient than grains. Surprising, isn't it? But if you use one kilogram of grains, it can be substituted with 750 grams of liquid malt or 600 grams of dried malt. So, try and get as much malt as you can into your recipes, and you'll notice a big difference. If you enjoyed that one, got a lot of value, and you would like to know more, head over to homebrewerhq.com or follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. So get doing and get brewing.